Well, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. We're going to do a two part video here. First, we'll be talking about conventional corn and uh, weed control and no till down in central Texas. And then we'll be talking about sweet corn and a status on how that's doing for a fall crop. First, to the corn here in central Texas. It's a good day because up north of me, you have my neighbor in a conventional tilled uh, field. And just to level set what people do down here conventionally is uh, after harvest in July, generally you'll see a heavy disc go through. And now we have a flush of uh, volunteer corn. So he's doing his second trip with a heavy disc. Um, a lot of guys stop with two trips in the fall. And then some guys will go back and do uh, chisel plowing. Um, later in uh, pretty much as soon as they can after this heavy disking um, And then most of them will do at least one more pass in the spring um, With a cultivator And other guys have done a uh, heavy disc and followed it with a cultivator for this uh, flush of weeds um, So at a minimum you're gonna see three tillage passes a lot of times up to five between harvest and uh, planting. Down, looking at my field, I've done a single pass so far. I did a post burn down, post harvest burn down, and I don't didn't use any residual for the grass, so uh, grasses are flushing again. So I'm going to be doing another uh, pass probably within a week, and I'm also going to put a group 14 in there for my uh, winter uh, annuals like henbit and thistle. And hopefully we'll be able to do that one pass and we'll be done for the year uh, up until planting where we'll do a pre-plant burn down. So I'm thinking I have two passes um, for my weed control. And then my third pass in the spring would be a pre-plant weed and feed anyway, so I'm going to be um, putting out my nitrogen anyways. Now let's go over to the sweet corn. Um, I have three fields going, but I wanted to show you the most extreme uh, example of no-till. This had been fallow during the summer, so we'd had some grasses growing up. And uh, we just put the down pressure on fairly heavy. Uh, planted two and a half to three inches deep and let it rip and um, watered it in after that. But really happy with this stand and the looks of the plant health. Um, and you can see the massive amounts of sod here uh, in this field. So this was really an extreme test case to see how no-till sweet corn would work. Next to it is the easier case where we had planted sweet corn in the spring and I just planted right down the row middles. And this field is about two weeks away from harvest. Um, some really nice things to highlight in this field is just look at the plant density. This is a 24,000 plant population. And uh, sweet corn is not known for putting out a lot of mass. Um, and what I think is it's been managed well and watered well and we're seeing a lot of plant mass. So with that shading the row, and we're seeing full height, so it's about six, six and a half feet tall. And most plants have uh, two ears. And unlike field corn, um, about 50% of the time that second ear is gonna be harvestable and good size for marketing. So this field's about two weeks away. Um, I'm managing it with drip irrigation, which is a really big deal here in the summer. Um, this would not be grown without any irrigation. And I think over the head irrigation is so inefficient, it doesn't get the soil wet enough to, uh, to help the crop. So that's my uh, first corn field. This row here il illustrates the weaknesses with drip irrigation. When you have um, part of your emitters plugged up, 
plants just don't come up. So that's what happened here. And moving on, we have a second field. This was planted about two weeks behind and he's in his rapid growth stage. He's starting to see some tassels poking out. So we're really putting the water to him. Other difference with sweet corn is we're seeing a lot of tillerine. I see second and third uh, plants coming out of the main plant. And when they're really healthy, they put them out and they also have a tassel on them. So this is a secondary tassel. And I think that's going to be shedding some pollen on these ears. Um, so we should get a really good pollination. So that's an update from Two Ivy Children Farm. Talking about corn. And uh, looking forward to a good sweet corn harvest. Thanks for watching.